Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and um, want to answer a couple of questions I'm getting from users about where we are at in the Windows builds and of course right now we are at the uh, version 1803 for uh, regular Windows users. Uh, we've learned that 86.7% of all of you on Windows 10 were now on this version. Uh, this is the latest build number 17134.228 is where you should be if you're the latest version uh, and of course we are now getting close to the release of a new version of Windows 10 so we are August 27th in a couple you know in a few days it's gonna be September and we know that version 1809 is coming up what's 1809 if you know that 18 means 2018 and the 03 for example here means March that means that 1809 is September. That means insiders will probably have their official bills in September. Um, we kind of think that the official release of the next version of Windows, that will be called October 2018 update apparently, will be somewhere early October for everybody, unless there's some kind of weird glitch like last time. Um, one of the questions is that build heavier? Will I need a stronger or more powerful computer to actually have that build working? No, you won't. Typically, what we know is that the minimum requirements for the next version of Windows is the same minimum requirements that are for this version of Windows. If your computer is working on 1803, it will update and work on 1809. Uh, no, uh, another question somebody asks is, will there be some hardware that won't be accepted? Will there be something, you know, we had a few, um, a few times when hardware changes meant that um, some people were left off of older Windows 10 versions. Um, there's no news of anything like that right now. We are, and it seems like everybody is moving ahead. So like I said, if you're on 1803, you're compatible you'll be upgraded to 1809 um, other questions that somebody asked okay I've got software and I always wonder if when we move to that new version of Windows will there be something that's not gonna work anymore the core of Windows 10 hasn't changed enough in each version like even in the version 1809 to actually have from my knowledge any software that would not be compatible if you've got something in 1803 that works it's still gonna work in 1809 one of the things that you need to know is that when you move on to a next a new version there is one thing that to understand for example I use OBS studio to do uh, screen recording and one of the things that happens and some software are affected by that uh, when software use some of the basic components of your system so for example OBS studio uses my uh, headset for audio recording uh, and any software that uses specific hardware, a webcam, sometimes in a new version, you need to reconfigure your software. And why? Because when you install a new version, like Redstone 5 coming up, what's going to happen is that that new version will actually have a, um, you know, they will reinstall the drivers. They might even update the drivers for newer versions of your devices and your drivers. So that means sometimes it actually makes a change and the software that you use doesn't actually find the hardware because of that change. So sometimes you'll need to reconfigure some stuff. Um, the other uh, thing about performance, questions about performance, it should be the same. If your PC is working well and is fast and, and, and goes great on version 1803, no problem. You'll be okay on version 1809 there's really really no changes that will make the system slower uh, lots of new features will there be anything that uh, or changes that gonna make me kind of mm, lose my understanding of you know this is probably one of the biggest questions people are just asking oh well you know that new version will I be lost because they're gonna have new they're gonna change things and I won't know what to do well no you know every version of Windows 10 as we went through from 2015 until now you know there are some changes there are some core changes there's new features but honestly uh, the system stays pretty much the same except a few little things here and there for 90 percent of you there will be little if maybe 
no changes at all that you'll notice because the core Windows 10 and the way it works is staying the same. But on the layers on the top of that, there's new features coming up. There's less features in Redstone 5, the next version of Windows, than there are were in some previous versions, including 18.03, which introduced to us the timeline feature, for example. Um, that means they're kind of focusing more on the stability of the system, and I think that's something that's really needed right now, because there's a lot of ranting going on about, for example, 18.03 that caused some issues for some, and I think they're trying to make it better. So that's pretty much what I have to answer on the questions. And last but not least, because I get tons of people saying, well, is there a dark themed file explorer? Yes, there is. This white themed file explorer right now, it's going to be dark if you wish to have a dark theme in the next version. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please ask away.